For today's tip of the day, let's take a look at Kehoe Park Hole 8. Uh, before I get started, I want to give a big shout out to Rauta for consulting with me on this. And the reason I reached out to him, it's been a while since I bagged a 7 speed. And for most wins, that's what you want on this hole. Um, the Accurate Roll Explorer, which Jerry loves for good reason. Uh, and if you don't know, he's one of the best that's ever played this game. Um, but that works really well in this hole. It's going to leave you probably a 40, 45 footer in most wins. Easy day. Just put the middle chevron at the intersection of those barricades. Now the one wind, wind where I think this does struggle a little bit is the three headwind. And if I don't get one here uh, in a few throws, I'm going to pause the video, go find it, and come back. Um, but in a three headwind, I think it's probably wise to disc up, and I'll show you the line that I use since I don't bag a seven speed. And it's with the accurate windbreak musket. And uh, it gets to the, the island here every time it just leaves you a little bit longer throw in that's the downside but for most people that have been playing for any length of time the throw in is not that hard so I've just been throwing discs as I talk here because you can see the extreme functionality of the accurate roll explorer here it's obviously very well suited to this hole. So let me just take a break. I'm going to go find a three win. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I found the three head win, and this one's from the right, which is probably the most challenging for the seven speed. And again, if you aim right at it and keep it low, uh, it can make it. But if you're anxious about it, you can take the accurate windbreak musket, uh, put the middle chevron about halfway up this tree right here. There's a line right here you can't see in this wind, but there's a line that I use as a reference point. And just about a full hyzer, not quite because you want to get out there a little bit. And that should make it. And as, again, I say it's just going to leave you a little bit longer. Let's see what this one is. 55 feet. So not bad. Uh, it will sometimes go a little bit longer depending on the wind. But, but that's what I use for any wind conditions. I use it 100%, but I'm comfortable perhaps more so than some with the longer throw-ins. So... Uh, I would recommend on this hole, definitely go with the Accurate Roll Explorer. It's the bomb. It's the easy button. And I hope you learned something, and we'll see you around the valley.